Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. Today we wanted to announce the mystery horse. If you saw Anna's video from last week, we put teasers in there about a horse that we had rescued. Um, we actually rescued him back in June and I just hadn't had a chance to make an announcement with all the people that have been visiting us and everything that happened with Amara. I just hadn't had a chance to get his announcement video out. But his story, a little bit of what happened was a subscriber, his name was Mike. Uh, I don't know if he wants to be named on here, but he reached out to me and asked if I had seen the horse uh, at Bowie, Texas Livestock that had been there for uh, about a week. Uh, his ship to slaughter date was just around the corner, and he asked if we had room at the farm. And at the time, we really did not have room at the farm, but we did make a little extra space and move things around, and we were able to go and rescue him. So uh, this is a little bit about Noah and his time here so far on the farm. We have lot number 0136. This is going to be a Sorrel Belchin gelding. Stands at 16 two hands and is 17 years of age. This gelding right here has been very well taken care of. Clean legs. He's good, healthy, lots of shape to him. Okay, this horse was turned out for two years. Just been out in the pasture, you can see by his feet, he wasn't trimmed up in a while. We're going to trim out a little bit. Well, does need a good trim up on those feet, as you can see. But he's big and he's shapey. Horse does need a little bit of a tune up if you go back to drive him. That's what he's done, meant to have been all his life, under a wagon, under farm machinery. If you're interested in him, he is with BowieTexasLivestock.com. If you click on the wire horse, you'll see him listed on there. His tag number is 0136. A few days later, we went out to Bowie, Texas Livestock and picked up Noah. He was a little unsure about going into the trailer, but eventually he got up in there. We stopped for fuel and I went back to check on him. He was eating hay and seemed pretty happy. He had also gone to the bathroom and out of all the horses, he was in the best condition that we've rescued so far from the livestock yard. Dutch and Liam were very excited about the new horse arriving to the farm. However, Noah, the new horse, was a little bit hesitant about getting off the trailer, but it took us a little bit, but he did finally get off the trailer and understand what we wanted from him. According to the livestock yard video, Noah had been turned out in a pasture with his previous owners for the past two years. No one had handled him or worked with him, so he was a little bit uneasy coming to the farm. It was just going to take us some time, just like Finn, to earn his trust.
That was a lot of dust, buddy. That barn dust on you. Whew. That's a big stress shake. Yeah, that's what it was. He does have a mullet. <laughs> Dutch, this is Noah. Noah, <laughs> that's Dutch. He's an alpha. We let him settle down a little bit and get used to his environment and then we got dinner started. So Noah was enjoying his Alpha Pro and we didn't even have to bribe him with molasses. We kept Noah inside in a run for a couple days just to make sure he wasn't showing any signs of illness. Since he was healthy, we didn't take him right to MVP for a checkup like we do with most of our horses, but Dr. Wagner came out and gave him a full checkup and he was completely healthy. Noah is a very curious horse and always wants to see what you're doing. However, Dutch was not a fan of his and just kind of stared at him all the time. So after a couple days, we did let him out into the paddock area so he could get some more exercise. After all the horses eat their Alpha Pro breakfast, they usually go back into the pasture to graze. So this day, Liam, Cammie, and Dutch were just still in the paddock area, so I let Noah out to see how he would do, and just so he could learn his environment and meet some new friends. After breakfast, everyone usually makes their way out into the paddock or the pasture area to do their morning scratches and rolling around in the dirt and in the grass. So that's what Liam's doing right here. As you can see here, Cammy did not want to be friends with Noah. She has her ears pinned back and her lips pursed, so she is mad and does not want to be friends. And Dutch did his morning roll in the dirt as well.
And finally, Noah joined in on the morning rolling in the dirt. Charlie realized there was another gelding in his paddock, so he was not happy. So that's Charlie on the other side of the fence charging at Noah. A few weeks had passed and we had just let him out in the paddocked area with a couple of the horses at a time. And this day we released him out with the rest of the herd. So this was his first time out in the paddocked area with all the horses. Charlie was protecting his mares to make sure that this other gelding wasn't going to hurt them. So that's the interaction that you're seeing right here. He wasn't making friends with any of the Belgians, so he went to the fence line and tried to make friends with the neighbor horse. Apparently that horse seems a lot nicer than any of ours on our farm. Despite the horse drama, everyone did really well and no one got hurt. They were all just defending their positions and Noah was trying to fit into a part of the herd. So after a couple days, everyone calmed down and Noah became part of the herd. Somewhere in the horse drama, Lena left Finn for Noah and Lena and Noah are now best friends and they go everywhere together. So I don't know if there was a fight over her or what the situation was, but Noah and Lena are now best friends.
These are a couple pictures of Noah and Lena. They're literally attached at the hip. And then one day, Noah and Anna became friends. Well, kind of. She looks mad at him right here. Did you lay in the mud? I think you did. Yeah, I think you did. Finn, Freya, Noah, Lena, and Anna all became their own little herd and they all kind of stick together now. So it's really sweet that they let Noah into their herd. This is Finn, Lena, and Noah. Every morning I fill up these water tanks and Noah always helps me. This morning he was tired. My friend Janine was visiting from Chicago this weekend. She is also the treasurer and board member for the Big Hoof Foundation. She's bonded with Noah and this was just the sweetest thing. She found one of his scratchy spots and he was just enjoying every moment of it. Since Noah was turned out into a pasture for two years, he was having a problem trusting people again. We did spend a lot of time with him, just bonding with him, and as you can see from this video, he's learned to trust humans again, and that just warms our heart. But this is Noah. He's our latest announcement he isn't probably our newest horse because we got quinn after we got noah but he's doing really good he obviously hates the camera he did get a wellness check from dr wagner when she was out uh right after we got him and he is healthy and no concerns out of all the horses we've gotten he is in the best shape he wasn't underweight he wasn't sick he he was just doing really well and we don't really know why he was there because he is a sweet sweet horse and apparently today he's dating Freya, maybe? No? <laughs> but he's in great shape. And is just an amazing horse and just super sweet. But his name is Noah. And he's the latest horse that we want to announce here at Fletcher Farms Amarillo. And the Big Hoof Foundation. Yeah, are you a sweet boy? Maybe? Oh, Finn's here. <laughs> Hi, Finn. I thought you and Noah were friends. No? It's all about you? Okay. <laughs> Finn. But that's been Noah's story, and he's just doing so well here on the farm, and we just, we love him, and he's a great horse, and we have absolutely no idea why he ended up at the livestock yard, but he's here now to be on our farm uh, to retire with the rest of the horses, and he will be a part of our therapy program once we get that going, so we're really excited to have him here, um, and excited to see what the future brings for him so um stay tuned we've got lots more updates coming um i should have done freya's update next because we actually got her in march so i should have done freya's one year update on her so that will be our next video <laughs> so stay tuned for that i uh, just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has sent us gifts of alpha pro donations gifts from our amazon wish list everyone that supported our t-shirt fundraiser for some reason that did renew again <laughs> and is going uh, uh, for another uh, another week or so so if you still wanted to get t-shirts through bonfire i'll put a link in the description below to where you can go ahead and purchase those we we always get questions as well on ways to support our farm and our foundation. If you wanted to send us a gift of Alpha Pro, which is what the horses all eat, you can do that through our local feed store at HFNC Amarillo, and I'll put their phone number below. If you wanted to send us a gift of Alpha Pro, just let them know to put that on Fletcher Farms Amarillo's account, and they'll get those bags added to our account. You can also make a tax-deductible donation to the Big Hoof Foundation, and I will put a link in the description below where you can do that as well. We're getting closer to almost 
almost getting the Big Hoof Foundation website completed, so um, stay tuned for that. We're really excited about that. We've been doing a lot of work on it. We also it. have our Amazon wish list that has supplements and other products that we use for our horses out here on the farm, like probiotics and electrolytes. Uh, since it's been really hot here through the this, through this summer, uh, we have been giving the horses extra electrolytes to make sure that they stay hydrated and that they're drinking plenty of water. So those are all on our Amazon wish list. So I'll put a link in the description below if you wanted to support us that way. But again, thank you all so much for your support. We truly appreciate it. And none of this and all these horses uh, would not be possible without you. So again, we can't thank you enough for all of your support and generosity. So um, again, thank you for watching and stay tuned. We've got lots more updates coming. Like I said, I'll do Freya's update next and then I'll do updates on all the rest of the horses as well. So uh, stay tuned, lots coming up here from Fletcher Farm Amarillo. Thanks for watching. Bye.